Hi everyone, Chris on the course here. And today we're actually not coming from the course, we're coming from my office. Because unfortunately I've managed to sprain my ankle quite badly playing five-a-side football of all things. So that was clever. Um, so today we're actually going to look at uh, quite a nice diagram from the RNA that looks at the responsibilities of scorecard marking. With the amount of competitions that we play at RADA, it's quite an important thing that we get this right. Um, to ensure that we don't get disqualified for various things that you could be disqualified for, which we'll come on to a little bit later. So responsibilities then. We've got, in the blue section, we've got the committee that are responsible for a few things. And in this case, uh, the pro shop team would end up doing quite a lot of this stuff, which, as you can see there, is the name of the person. Uh, also, as well, the date of the competition. Uh, that normally is done with a label that's printed out from the pro shop team. And that will also have the handicap of the player on it as well. But as you can see here, the player is actually responsible for the handicap being correct. Not something you need to worry too much about at this club because, like I said, the computer system ends up putting that on the scorecard for us once the labels are printed out. But if you're playing away competitions, it's quite important that, that uh, you do follow up on this just in case they don't have the same system as us. The player is also responsible for the player's signature at the bottom, the other part in yellow. Um, and also as well, the player and the marker are responsible for two things. They're responsible for the gross scores being correct on each hole. And they're also responsible for the marker's signature being on the scorecard. If you, neither the marker's signature or the player's signature are on the scorecard, then it is a disqualification once the card has been handed in. Also as well, if the scores are slightly out, there, there are uh, things involved with that as well. So just to be more specific on that, if you end up putting a score on a hole that is higher than the score you actually had, then it's that score that is the one that counts. So for example, as you can see the scorecard uh, in front of us, on the first hole, if you actually had a four on that hole, but you've written down a five, or your marker's written down a five, and then you've both signed the card and given it in, well, that five is the score that stands. However, if you had a, a four on that hole and you wrote down a three and you signed it and you didn't actually have a three on that hole, well, that would be a disqualification um, for signing for a lower score than you actually had. Other things to consider then, uh, you're not actually responsible for putting stable foot points on the scorecard. However, it does make it a little bit easier, especially when checking uh, scorecards and things like that, if you can do that. Um, also as well, if you're playing a better ball competition, it is very important that you put the correct score for the person in the correct column and try to only put the person who actually scored on that hole on the scorecard. So, for example, if player A ended up scoring on the first hole, you would only put their score on the first hole into the player A column and not both scores on the first hole, player A and player B, because that can get quite confusing when sort of checking cards. And especially the one that, uh, that ends up happening quite often is that people put uh, the better ball score all in one column which if that happens, then that would be taken as player A does all of the scoring, which might be the case, um, but it more often than not isn't the case. So make sure that you're putting it in the correct column whilst doing that then. So there's a few things surrounding scorecards there. Hopefully that has helped and cleared, cleared a few things up for you. Uh, and until next time, hopefully I'll see you on the course. It's Chris on the course.